Uh, my name is Dimitri Guzo Madalin, and I'm going to present video summarization using social information. I'm going to do a short introduction of this field. I'm going to talk about background and the main trends in this field. Then I'm going to present some techniques for uh, summarizing video. I'm going to discuss them, present some future research directions, and I'm going to conclude. So, uh, why is video summarization important? Video summarization is interesting because it provides uh, condensed information to the user about the content of the, of the video. And it has direct applications in uh, interactive browsing and in uh, searching systems. There are a lot of uh, video out there. YouTube says that it has 72 hours of uh, video uploaded on its servers every minute and uh, 4 billion of hours watch every every month so getting the information that the user needs out of this immense collection is probably the most the most challenging task that multimedia information retriever has to solve moreover users have less and less time to deal with uh, watching a full video so they need uh, direct access to the interesting parts within a video the objective of my survey paper was to um, discover the main trends in this field and to introduce a, new, a newcomer uh, to the video summarization field. And I concentrated more on using the information that comes from the behavior of the user regarding to the video content. My approach was to describe some background, present some internal techniques for completeness, then present techniques that deal with user interaction with the video, ex external techniques, and some other techniques that try to improve these techniques. So, uh, there are three main types of, of techniques. Internal techniques that deal only with the content of the, of the video and its internal structure. External techniques that use the information that uh, doesn't come directly from the video and can be deduced from other sources. And hybrid techniques that are a combination of the previous two mentions. The trend right now is to summarize the video in a journalistic way, so to answer the who, what, where, and when questions. In the beginning, to answer these questions, uh, automated speech recognition and subtitles were used, but with the merge of social information, uh, social information, the research switched to, to this new field. Uh, social information comes with its own problems, like it can be noisy, it can be wrong, it can be in inaccurate. Uh, it has a little uh, ground truth and usually it can also support uh, community uh, around some, some, uh, some uh, media. Another trend recently appeared is to also try to answer the why. So to find the intent of the user, why he's looking for that summary. Why does he need a, a summary in, in, in a way. So answering these five questions and plugging in social information could improve the personalization to offer the user the summary that he needs. Um, okay, one, two, three. Internal techniques. So internal techniques are those techniques that use only the information that, that comes uh, with the video. Usually they use three channels, the visual channel, the audio channel, and the textual channel, extracting from these channels some features like color histograms, speech band energy, recognizing part of speech. Uh, and the summaries come in form of keyframes or video segments. For example, when we deal with uh, a keyframe, uh, we build with the features extracted from those three channels a silency curve on which events we, can, we detect by using, uh, for example, a clustering algorithm. Um, also, domain knowledge is very used to improve, to boost the performance. Uh, domain knowledge, for example, if you have a sports video, can, can be like uh, the number of teams, the fact that there is grass, there are feed lines, uh, crowd celebration, close-up images, on-screen uh, on screen graphics, everything that can make you detect events inside the video that you can summarize. Hybrid techniques. Uh, hybrid, hybrid techniques try to combine internal summarization with some external information because the internal information with, with in the video is not enough to get the user's need. Uh, and the, the external information comes in form of implicit or explicit user interaction with the video. Uh, implicit interaction means the interaction that the user has with the, for example, with the video player, pausing, playing, stopping, scrolling, 
closing and there are systems that are capable of doing summaries only using this um, this user interaction uh, explicit interaction is the interaction in the form of talking about that event so match reports for example or blogs things like this also domain knowledge is uh, is used to select the the external sources and some of these comes uh, come in form of tags thumbnails and and video segments external techniques external techniques as i said use only information that is not presently di directly in, in the video and can be derived from other sources like linkedin google plus facebook or twitter they are very flexible usually they are tested on sports video but uh, they can be easily adapted to any type of, of uh, video because this uh, uh, external information comes in form of text usually text processing techniques are, uh, are used and they are very powerful usually word removal, stemming, uh, part of speech recognition are, are done again domain knowledge is important because you have to use specific keys to keywords to extract this external information uh, and which personalization can be achieved so you can give the user a summary with a certain duration or on a certain topic uh, the most used platform for getting external information about the video is is twitter and um, detecting events on on twitter is usually done by detecting volume bursts in tweets using a static threshold or a dynamic window <coughs> these events then are uh, classified and ranked using a TF IDF uh, measure uh, real time can be achieved but you have to consider three types of delay so the delay of the users regarding the event the delay of the social platform or and the delay that your algorithm uh, introduces there are also some challenges finding the events in the first place distinguish between the events when two similar events uh, take place in the same time and distinguish their type so it's a fault is a goal is I don't know. Depends on your on your on your video. Uh, here, I tried to investigate some techniques that try to improve on the previous presented techniques. So, automatic annotation to generate more tags on scenes f inside the video, and usually here, uh, visual similarity is used. Uh, tags of uh, related videos are used. Um, uh, collective knowledge is used at Wikipedia again uh, also improve improve personalization there are techniques that try to construct networks of entities found inside the video by hybrid techniques for example and in those networks to plug in user preference profiles so in the end you can extract uh, a fuzzy uh, video summary of what uh, the user may prefer inside a certain video uh, extracting higher levels of sum summarization uh, it would be a cool thing to f have uh, a summary of a match or a, uh, or a TV episode and also having a summary of a tournament, a whole tournament or a, a whole TV series. Uh, there are also uh, experiments with sentiment extraction. So give the user an idea about uh, what are the positive things in a video, what are the negative things in a video, and this could be applied, for example, to news um, discussion. Domain knowledge is essential for each of the technique, and there are some domains that uh, enjoy more popularity, more uh, popularity than others, and usually this translates in more social information. And these domains are like sports and uh, TV shows. Internet techniques are are used usually for uh, not so popular video like personal collections because they do not do they do not enjoy such. Uh, amount of social information they usually uh, have bad results with static or uh, with no structured video and poor quality and problems with filling the semantic gap so less personalization can can be achieved on the other hand the external techniques feel better the semantic gap because they use uh, the textual information that comes directly from from the user um, the real time can be achieved because the text processing techniques are very powerful. When I started the survey paper, I thought that Facebook was the king of external techniques because it provides very rich personal profiles, but because of the privacy policies, Twitter claims this title. 
they are very suited for for a very popular video made online even if it has less structure for example and uh, there are they have problems with extracting to uh, to put the exact uh, if to put the event into the exact location inside the video they also have problems when the text is noisy because of the foreign languages or because of the spelling hybrid techniques hybrid techniques try to combine the advantages of the internal techniques and external techniques but they also combine their disadvantages for example there are more highly computational than the external ones but they are very useful for video with a specific uh, audience so for example gamers they they usually watch youtube videos for improving their techniques and they are the most popular in research right now as future directions that i identified for research uh, finding more general algorithms to use less domain knowledge would be an idea maybe finding the perfect algorithm to summarize all types of videos is impossible but developing algorithms for each specific domain i think it i think it is possible also summarizing big collections as i said summarizing whole tv series or tournaments or extracting the most important player inside the tournament it can be done standardization in tags for example for external techniques standardizing the tags for major events on on twitter could could uh, improve the external techniques personalization could be also improved by finding the intent why the user wants a summary of a certain uh, topic and if uh, if effort would be put at all cycles of production of videos then um, summaries could be could be better starting from the capturing uh, part to conclude research is steered away from from the internal uh, techniques towards the user so to use also information about the user there are still many questions that can be answered and my survey paper dealt with three main branches of of techniques so thank you and if you have any questions